So Fox and Friends responded to Bernie Sanders announcing that he's running for president, and they did this in the most Fox Newsy way imaginable. Take a look. There are many other things that makes Bernie, made Bernie in 2016, stand out. Watch this. Tuition free. Three months paid family and medical leave. A living wage, 15 bucks an hour. Health care is a right of all people, not a privilege. Radical ideas are now mainstream ideas because of your support. Uh, Medicare for all, the single payer system, free college, uh, his anti-Israel uh, 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 policy, that was basically his foreign policy. Uh, it won him New Hampshire. It almost took Iowa. It scared the heck out of Hillary Clinton. And then all of a sudden, Debbie Wasserman Schultz working behind the scenes, cut his knees out, uh, along with the superdelegates that were acquired before Bernie Sanders, who was actually in. Well, if Bernie. you vote for him, it's a very liberal agenda. You, ha you heard what, what he's for. You know what he's for. 2016 was a different race than 2020. It looks like the country. More and more people are supporting the socialist agenda, and that's what you get with him. When we asked the voters, and we did a poll last week, when the voters were asked, who do you want? Joe Biden was number one, and Bernie Sanders was number two. So far, Joe Biden hasn't gotten in the race, so it looks like... Right. Uh, Joe, ba I mean, uh, Bernie Sanders would do really well. Biden and uh, Bernie uh, sounds like will be in it. They they are the two candidates on the Democratic side with the best uh, name recognition. But, you know, four years later, things have really changed. In 2016, Bernie Sanders was a real contrast to Hillary Clinton. And now when you look at the things that he ran on four years ago, that's what everybody's running on, it seems like. Uh, when it comes to Medicare for all, you've got Harris, Gillibrand, Booker, Warren, Klobuchar. They're all four. For that, and then Amy Klobuchar, uh, who uh, yesterday said she's not for uh, free, for free college years. for everybody. She said she, she wants the first two paid for, like a community college. Well, she said uh, that she did support Bernie on his fifteen dollar per uh, hour minimum wage. So she is in unison with the with uh, Bernie on that, just not the free college business. But what about the timing? The timing of a socialist declaring for president one day after the president of the United States condemned socialism in Miami. And we look at Venezuela as a case in point of what could happen to America with all our natural resources, with all our history like Venezuela, much, much richer than Venezuela and all their oil resources. They have gone into the toilet as a country. They can't even stock their shelves with the with food that would be too expensive to buy anyway because of inflation. They have. No, 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 nothing on Bernie. Nothing. They're going to use like the same three talking points over and over and over and over. And it's, it's embarrassing, man. I mean, come up with some slightly creative lines of attack, won't you? Jesus Christ. So first of all, the beginning part of the clip is actually pretty good in that they're kind of accurately describing a bunch of stuff. Like they, they go through his... Um, his agenda, free college, paid family leave, $15 an hour, Medicare for all. And then he's like, uh, he has anti-Israel foreign policy. Mildly, to, uh, you know, at best. But thank you for doing a campaign ad for Bernie to start off that segment. I really appreciate it. Because all those things they went through, free college, paid family leave, $15 an hour, Medicare for all. All those poll overwhelmingly popular among the country. But even most of them, majority of Republican voters, too. So you, they play these things as if it's like a gotcha. That's only a gotcha in like the top 1% ultra far right circles. That's it. That's it. But among a lot of their viewers, they're going to be watching that like, oh, stupid Bernie. <laughs> I, I like the, the way a lot of that sounds. <laughs> that's going to be the reaction. And then, li listen, if that's, that's going to be the go-to argument is, <laughs> we're with Venezuela. Oh, <laughs> And the crazy thing is, even when you directly respond to that, they will still go on to repeat the same talking point as if you didn't respond to it. It's almost like shockingly stupid. Tommy Lauren did this the other day on Twitter and I responded to it. And she's going to continue to make the same point, even though I responded to it and slapped down her dumbass point. So, I mean, obviously the reaction to this is, Bernie never said that. Bernie supports the Scandinavian model. Look at Denmark or Sweden for a better example. And those places kick our ass in every relevant study uh, on every relevant topic. So, you keep bringing that up, we'll keep bringing up Scandinavia, and we'll also keep bringing up our policy specifics, Medicare for all, free college, living wage, um, and the wars, so on and so forth, and people will agree with us, and they won't agree with you. 
And imagine, on the debate stage, Donald Trump trying to take down Bernie Sanders, and that's the thing he can't help but keep going back to, like Marco Rubio when he turned into the Rubio bot and was a broken record. Trump will be like, ah, he's a socialist, and he wants Venezuela. It's unbelievably, tremendously sad. Believe me. And Bernie just fucking, that's child's play to Bernie. He'll slap that shit out the way like it's nothing, like Dikembe Mutombo in his prime. Get that shit out of here, bitch. And he'll be like, let me explain it to you. I'm talking about the Scandinavian model. Over there, the middle class uh, is stronger. People self-report being significantly happier. They have paid time off by law. Uh, their healthcare system is better. They cover everybody at half the price, and they have better health outcomes. What about this do you not like, Mr. President? It's a Venezuela. It's like Venezuela. Dude, Bernie might destroy this election in legendary fashion. I can't wait to watch this unfold and look at the, you know, the smug-ass looks on the face of the far right when they see this guy who represents everything they despise just bulldozing everything in his path on his way to victory.